Welcome to the captivating world of Land of the Pharaohs, a 1955 cinematic gem that transports audiences to ancient Egypt, blending historical drama with Hollywood allure. Directed by Howard Hawks, this film unfolds against the grandeur of pyramid construction, offering a glimpse into the ambitious vision of Pharaoh Khufu. As you journey through this classic, you may find yourself contemplating the performances of iconic Hollywood actors, who among them became your favorite. Perhaps it was Jack Hawkins playing the determined and resourceful Pharaoh, or Joan Collins adding a touch of glamour to the ancient setting. Reflecting on Land of the Pharaohs, one cannot help but wonder about the scenes or moments that left a lasting impact. Was it the awe-inspiring shots of the majestic pyramids taking shape, or the intricate dynamics of power and desire that unfold throughout the narrative? Share your thoughts on the moments that linger in your memory. Now, we invite you to delve into your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to this classic film. Did it spark a lifelong interest in ancient history, or do you have a memorable movie night with friends and family attached to it? Your stories and memories are treasures we'd love to hear. Feel free to share them in the comments below. And now, let's uncover some fascinating random facts about Land of the Pharaohs, offering you a deeper understanding of the film's creation and impact. Jack Hawkins, in his 1973 autobiography Anything for a Quiet Life, candidly declared that the 1955 movie Land of the Pharaohs is best forgotten. The veteran actor, known for his roles in classic films, expressed a clear disapproval of the movie, suggesting that it did not leave a positive mark on his career or cinematic legacy. In contrast, Joan Collins, in her autobiography Past Imperfect, shed light on an interesting aspect of the film's production. According to Collins, the movie was shot in Italy, leading to her overindulgence in pasta. Director Howard Hawks, dissatisfied with her weight gain, rebuked her, stating that Princess Nellifer should not appear as if she's four months pregnant. This incident not only reflects the challenges faced during the filming, but also highlights the director's dedication to maintaining the authenticity of the characters. Delving into the musical aspects of the film, the liner notes of the soundtrack CD reveal an intriguing detail about the lyrics of the choruses in Land of the Pharaohs. Despite the perception that the lyrics are rooted in Asian, Semitic, or Egyptian origins, they are, in fact, gibberish concocted by composer Dimitri Tionkin. The purpose was to evoke the ancient Egyptian period, creating a sonic atmosphere that resonates with the film's setting. In conclusion, Land of the Pharaohs carries both critical perspectives from one of its lead actors, Jack Hawkins, and an anecdote from Joan Collins about the challenges faced during production. Additionally, the revelation about the film's musical elements adds an intriguing layer to its creation, showcasing the lengths taken to capture the essence of ancient Egypt. The 1955 movie Land of the Pharaohs faced a notable obstacle during its production. The Egyptian authorities, deeming James Robertson Justice's character Vashter to resemble a Jew, prohibited the film from being released in Egypt. This decision stemmed from a perceived deviation from historical accuracy, leading to a ban based on what officials considered a distortion of facts. The controversy surrounding Vashter's portrayal added a layer of complexity to the film's distribution, with repercussions reaching beyond its intended audience. This restriction provides a compelling starting point for an exploration of the challenges faced by Land of the Pharaohs, shedding light on the intersection of historical representation and cinematic interpretation. In the scorching heat of the Egyptian desert, the making of the 1955 film Land of the Pharaohs faced peculiar challenges. Jack Hawkins, in his autobiography, recounts an incident during Pharaoh Cufus' funeral scene. Sweltering in heavy robes, he observed British property men enjoying ice-cold beer, forbidden to him due to his on-set constraints. Amidst this, the screenplay's integrity comes into question. Harold Jack Bloom later claimed William Faulkner, credited for writing, contributed nothing. Faulkner's alleged last-minute, alcohol-induced rewrites during filming paint a chaotic picture, contrasting the meticulous portrayal of ancient Egypt. This behind-the-scenes chaos echoes the on-screen controversy. Egyptian authorities banned the film due to perceived historical inaccuracies, and James Robertson Justice's portrayal highlighting the intricate dance between cinematic interpretation and historical representation. However, not all aspects are serious. There's an unexpected touch. A famous Wilhelm scream, iconic in cinema, emanates from a crocodile in the movie. 
This quirky inclusion adds a unique layer to the film, balancing its serious narrative with a touch of cinematic humor. In exploring Land of the Pharaohs, one unravels a tapestry of challenges, controversies, and unexpected moments. It's a testament to the intricacies involved in bringing ancient history to life on the silver screen. Producer and director Howard Hawks faced numerous challenges during the making of the 1955 movie Land of the Pharaohs. In a departure from his typical filmography, Hawks had a difficult time with this epic project. Originally intending to cast fashion model Ivy Nicholson as Princess Nellifer, he quickly fired her due to behavioral issues. Joan Collins, who eventually took the role, also faced scrutiny from Hawks. The director expressed dissatisfaction, stating he didn't know how a pharaoh should talk, leading to creative struggles with the script. Additionally, Hawks disliked working with CinemaScope, despite initially being intrigued by the new cinematic process. These difficulties contributed to Land of the Pharaohs being Howard Hawks' first commercial failure, prompting him to take a break from directing and travel through Europe for a few years. His return to filmmaking with Rio Bravo in 1959 marked the longest break between two movies in his career. The challenges and conflicts behind the scenes provide a unique perspective on the production of Land of the Pharaohs, revealing the complexities faced by a seasoned director in an unfamiliar cinematic terrain. Land of the Pharaohs stands as the sole cinemascope venture in Howard Hawks' filmography. The epic production faced various challenges, including the meticulous recreation of the pyramid construction scenes. To achieve authenticity, the crew cleared sand from a 90-foot deep shaft of the unfinished Pyramid of Baca, while elsewhere, they constructed a ramp and foundation mimicking the original pyramid. Thousands of extras were filmed, portraying the laborious task of pulling massive stone blocks. Amidst these challenges, an intriguing detail surfaces regarding Joan Collins' role as Princess Nellifer. Severe censorship by the Hayes office dictated that her navel should not be visible. In response, a ruby button was affixed using liquid adhesive, adding an unintended touch of obscenity and eroticism. Despite the unorthodox solution, filming proceeded, showcasing the lengths taken to adhere to censorship standards. The unique blend of historical recreation, cinematic challenges, and unexpected details like the modified navel adds a layer of complexity to Land of the Pharaohs. Howard Hawks' departure from his usual style and the film's position as his only cinemascope project further contribute to its distinctiveness in the director's prolific career. The film, encapsulating the intricacies of its production, remains a noteworthy piece in the cinematic landscape. As the sands of time settle on our journey through the cinematic wonders of 1955 seconds land of the pharaohs, let's not merely be spectators, let's be archaeologists of our own memories. Delve into the vaults of your experiences, excavate the layers of emotions stirred by this timeless epic. Did it transport you to the mystical realms of ancient Egypt or spark a flame of curiosity for historical narratives? As we bid adieu to the grandeur of the silver screen, let your thoughts unfold like the scrolls of an ancient papyrus. Share your most cherished reflections, the whispers of awe that echoed through your mind as you traversed the sands with these celluloid pharaohs. Unearth the buried treasures of your personal connection with this cinematic masterpiece. In this shared expedition of nostalgia, let's build a collective pyramid of memories. Your thoughts are the bricks that construct the monument of our appreciation for the artistry woven into the tapestry of Land of the Pharaohs. Whether it's the captivating performances, the majestic set designs, or the resonant themes, every stone in this pyramid holds a story your story. As we stand at the crossroads of past and present, let the echoes of this cinematic odyssey resonate within you. The beauty lies not just in the images that flickered on the screen, but in the imprints they left on our souls. So, my fellow adventurers, lay bare your reflections. Let them shimmer like jewels in the Nile sunlight. Thank you for embarking on this journey through time and cinema with me. Your thoughts are the hieroglyphs that breathe life into our discussions. Until our paths converge again, may your memories of Land of the Pharaohs continue to cast a golden glow upon your cinematic adventures.